Hi, I'm Jason Matthews, and I'm a professional outfitter and guide based out of Immigrant, Montana. Um, for the past 15 years, I've been guiding uh, river trips, sled dog Let's trips, um, hunting trips, and, and a little bit of fishing, and just basically showing people wild places in Montana. Let's go! Woo! And we're based just north of Yellowstone National Park, and we do tours all around the park in the summer, whitewater rafting, whitewater kayaking, and expedition Look. canoe trips. And in the winter, we run sled dogs. And I feel really privileged to be able to share with people my passion of, of being out here every day. Um, the dogs and I just love to be up in the mountains, in the sunshine, and uh, doing what we love to do 365 days a year. Let's go. We're running dogs today at about 8,000 feet above sea level. So it's, uh, it's pretty high up here in the mountains, but the dogs love it and they're getting after it. But I have to help them every now and then. Sometimes it's a little hard on me. <laughs> Let's go, up! But it's all in a day's work. The work is worth it because you get to see some incredible, incredible views. Uh, it's a team effort between the musher, the dog driver, and the dogs. And you really have to develop a uh, trust and a bond between the driver and the dogs. The driver is sort of the coach, the dogs are the athletes, but really we all have to come together. What makes a good sled dog is the single-minded passion to run, just the, the just joy uh, and sheer just enthusiasm of running. Um, you can't make a dog do that. They have to want to do it. And uh, the, the trick with sled dogs is not getting them to run. The trick with sled dogs is getting them to stop. Whoa! Whoa! These dogs have such a passion and an enthusiasm to just keep going and going and going and find out what's around the next bend that if you just hook them up to this thing and hang on, you're going to see some great country because they have this desire to just chew up the miles and get around the next corner and see that next horizon. Another thing I really love about mushing and running dogs is just the uh, communing with dogs. I mean, it's just a primal thing that's gone back since the dawn of time for um, humans and dogs to have a relationship. I often think it's, it's tough to say that we've trained dogs or dogs train us. And so what I get from, from it is over time, you just develop such a relationship of working together, a symbiotic sort of relationship of, uh, of meeting our goals, of just being able to see that next horizon, see that next wild place, that um, it just strikes a primal chord in me that, uh, you know, it's, it's just an addiction. I've got to get out every day and, and take the dogs for a run. And, and if, if I don't get out and, uh, you know, take them on a run, they are outside barking and they're ready to go. I mean, they, they want to go. They're on a schedule and it's, hey, let's go for a run. And so uh, you spend enough time with them, it, it becomes an addiction. You got to get out there and, and see what's around the next corner. Ha, 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 ha.